Good afternoon, Angie Singer here for Old Men Stories Opry, and I'm with Reb Johnson in Champlin, Minnesota. Hey, Reb. <laughs> well, I'm honored to be here. <laughs> Thanks for joining yeah. us again. Oh, I was yeah. so anxious to get over here and chat with you about your brand new CD, Reb Johnson, I Miss America, and you've been giving me a couple of little snippets of this project along the way. You haven't heard it yet. I have not heard the final product, well, but I'm the first one to get my hands on one. There goes your ratings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's, um, I miss America. I miss the way it was, you know. The way it is now is not the way, not the way it was, you know. We grew up in a different era, and things are changing. Maybe it's for the better. Time will tell, right? Yeah, that's Time right. will tell, but I right just, now it just seems in flux. <clears throat> You're right. I just kind of like to hang in the past a little bit. Country music, for one thing, is not really country anymore. Yeah, they need to come up with a new name, don't they? Yeah, they do. That's what my song is going to be about. We'll mention that a little later. And uh, yeah, it's, it's a little different game, though. Yeah. Although they're still... Country fans out there, thank goodness they are. And what's exciting is when you go to like something down in Iowa recently at the festival down there and you see the young people that are showing up singing our music. You That's know, what's exciting and you think, well maybe it won't die. You know what's exciting uh, for me is uh, <clears throat> they don't want this country to there no, they want the real stuff. And that's what we play. Right, yeah. right. And so maybe it won't die if they just keep keep on keeping on. So there was a young 17-year-old down there, and he did, he, he was spot on with the old traditional country. And he was the nicest guy, kind of like you. You know, I, walked uh, up to him, and he was polite and nice, nice boy. I know boy. we were talking about Tanner. That's him, that's yeah, him. I worked with him down in uh, Ifala, Oklahoma. We stopped and did a show down there. And he backed me up on the guitar. Yep, he uh, he was he was so nice, oh, and he, I talked to him for quite a while, and um, him and his mother. That's right, they're both beautiful. So it people. gives us hope that our music will stay, will continue on. He, guys like him, it will. Yeah, that's uh, right. he, he's not going to change. He's too ingrained already. <laughs> I think you're right. I yeah. think you're right. Well, yeah. tell us about your uh, title song off your brand new CD that I haven't even opened yet called I Miss America. I Miss America. And the way it used to be. When Made in Japan was still a novelty. Mm. I missed a simple handshake and things that it would say. I sure miss America. Made in the USA. And then it goes on. Um, now, did this just, all of a sudden, you decide to write this song, or is this a cumulative yeah, thing just, that it's been niggling back there for a while? Well, it's been brewing. I'm wondering how to say it, how to put it. And, uh, but know when you had to write it, sooner or later? Yeah, yeah. You, <laughs> when something bugs you that much, you will write it. You yeah. have to eat it out or go see a psychiatrist, one of the two. <laughs> <laughs> I think it keeps me off the couch. So. For you... <laughs> You go through a lot of pencil and paper, I suppose. Yeah. <laughs> time you get it done, you got a stack of paper and inch thick. Oh boy, don't I know. And, and, uh, of course, I do mine on the computer. I do. I, I, I own it there. But uh, when I'm writing, I put my feet up on it, something and sit back and write. And I take the guitar and try it and see if it works. And I throw it out and start over. And, ah, you know, ah. Ideas are you got a good solid idea, you can write something about it, and it'll probably be okay. So how long did it take you to fine-tune this one? Well... Did it come fairly easy, this one? Yeah, I... I went to Vegas, and when did we go to Vegas? In May or June? Enjoy. Enjoy. And I had the words, and then I... It was 110 degrees, and I wasn't going out in that, and my... my granddaughter's husband had a Martin sitting there, so I took the guitar and kind of worked it out there. And uh, 
How can you resist? It was yeah. sitting right there, yeah, right? right. <laughs> no way was I going out 110 degrees. We stayed in the house for five days, I did. Oh, boy. Don't go there in the summer. It's too hot. Anyway, a lot of people do, though. Nothing, nothing against it. Just wasn't like <laughs> So you were forced inside, so that's when you got... I worked on this song, and I kind of dinged it up, and then I come back from there, and I started to record on it. Get it work, worked up where it is now. And uh, hopefully, hopefully people want to hear it. I hope so, too. Yeah. So let, yeah. let's uh, give a listen, and you're going to be one of the first ones to hear it. The song called I Miss America by Red Johnson. All the presents I've wrapped, the pages I've scrapped, that I couldn't 